Of all. This is James Ronnie Staters again with a quick little update after a video I just posted a few hours ago. If you haven't seen that video, don't sweat the small stuff. Just watch this video and then you can see the longer version. Somebody wrote to me with an argument about that my test is considered flawed. I don't see it as flawed, but they had a very good argument. So, with that said, let me show you what their argument was. Their argument was that because I had these rotor magnets here, way back there, away from the stator, that it had plenty of time to gain speed, and then it would gain so much speed that the natural inertia stored in the wheel would just naturally take it all the way through. Well, yeah, that's the idea. But that's not the argument of my demonstration. The demonstration was the stator here, the James Brony stator, in that the magnetic flux on this side is really strong, and the magnetic flux on this side is basically absent. The only time you have any flux or eddy currents is when these magnets pass across the other side. And for a brief moment, it does set up flux or eddy currents, if you will. Okay, so what they want me to do to prove that the equivalency, that basically eddy currents, is like a hill here. The flux is higher here, and the flux gets lower in the middle, and then down here, it's all the way to zero at the bottom. So it's kind of like a hill, like a snow skier skiing down a mountainside. That's a layman's way to put it. Okay, so what they want me to do here is put the lead, this lead rotor magnet, right next to the corner of this um, stator. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Their argument is, if this stator really does what it does, then these magnets should have no problem going all the way through and they will not be pulled back by a counter pull. Okay? Let me let my hand go here. I'm going to raise my hand straight up. And if all goes well, these magnets will plow right through with the greatest of ease. Okay, here we go. I'm going to lift my hand straight up. See? Went straight on. Okay, now the wheel's stopping and it's starting to go backwards a little bit. So that's what about 20 inches. So if the if the fields on both sides were equal, then it would be equal counter pull. In that, if I had this back here a couple inches, I'm doing this by hand now, that this last magnet should not move past the stator more than a couple inches because it's equally balanced, and then the counter pull will pull it back. And then it'll go back and forth, back and forth. But it doesn't do that because this side of the stator is way stronger than this side. But we've got to keep in mind that these are magnets. This is metal. So the corner of this stator still affects these magnets on a counter pull to try to pull it back. But it doesn't because the force here is twice what it is here. Because of that, that's why this works. And by the way, out of all fairness, I took off all of the other magnets on the wheel. This way the wheel is as light as possible. So these magnets here have the least amount of duty in the way of weight to, to accelerate. So I'm going to put the phone, I mean the uh, camera right here. I'm using my phone camera for this. And you're going to see here, this time it's going to leave the uh, camera right here. I'm going to lift my hand straight up. You're just going to have to trust me. And watch the acceleration. I mean, this thing really takes off. Here we go. Lift my hand straight up now. Look at that. I mean, it just takes off. Now, I'm going to stop this. I mean, what is that? It looks like a good at least 20 inches again. 
maybe 23, whatever the case may be, this has gone way past, the last magnet has gone way past the end of the stator. So by the normal everyday law of physics, this says that the attraction on both sides is equal. And because it's equal on both sides of a magnet, that, and that's, that is the truth. But I've, I've changed that because my magnet is inside of here. And I've cut off the magnetism on this side. But as you get closer to the middle and all the way over here, the magnetism gets stronger to the point on this edge here, right here on this edge, the magnetism is at full strength. Full strength here, zero here. Watch my video I made, I think, two or three videos back with the magnet and the paper clip. And you'll see that there is zero magnetic flux on this backside. None. None at all. Believe it or not. Okay. And if you don't believe it, you're in denial. So, out of all fairness, when this thing is actually operational, assuming that this is actually going to work, because, yeah, I know, until I put another stator here, another one there, and there, and there, this really does not work yet. But I'll tell you, if this was a horse race, and this was a horse, I'd bet on it, and I'd bet a lot, because I'm pretty darn sure this is going to work just fine. But let me give this a little bit better push, because I want you to see it in normal motion, and watch the speed suddenly pick up. Look, it even went faster for a brief moment. See? Anyway, this is James from your Staters. You're welcome to post this and copy it. But please, I ask of you, do not do so for monetary gain for a, or financial, directly or indirectly, in any way, shape, or form. And please, all intellectual rights are reserved. This is James from your Staters uh, signing out for free magnetic energy dot info and youtube dot com forward slash free magnetic energy too. Thanks for watching.